good evening and welcome to the uh, new building. We've been here just a few weeks, uh, and you, I think you'll get to enjoy some of the excitement as you talk to the, to the people in the labs that are being set up. I'm the associate director of the ATEC program. I've been here about 18 months, um, and I had a very disturbed childhood. Um, first, my father was born in Texas, but I was born in Paris, uh, and so I had to reconcile those two very different aspects of my own culture. But secondly, my father was a research engineer, the founder of the NASA Jet Propulsion Lab, but he was also a professional and very successful artist in Paris. And so when I came home from middle school uh, in Paris, my father, the engineer, was painting and sketching, and I would help him. And I thought that's what engineers did. Uh, so uh, I grew up sort of in that uh, hybrid environment, went on to do physics uh, at MIT and then astrophysics at Berkeley. I worked for NASA for a number of years. But here I am now, a professor of art and technology in the School of Art and Humanities. And let me tell you, for me, it's a really exciting uh, combination of all the things that have gone on uh, in my life. Uh, I have a double appointment. I'm also a professor of physics as, a as well as a professor of art and technology. And one of the wonderful things about the environment here is the fluidity of the environment. And so I don't know whether talk is the way I would put it, but certainly we're combining forces between a lot of very interesting people on this campus. And hopefully this building will be a nexus of that activity, and we look forward to welcoming, welcoming you on many occasions uh, back here. Uh, Deborah asked me to mention a couple of things that I've been working on recently. Um, this summer, uh, I just finished a very large study funded by the U.S. National Science Foundation called the SEED White Paper Study on enabling new forms of collaboration between science and engineering, arts design, and humanities. And we worked with about 200 experts internationally just taking stock of what was going on. And let me tell you what's going on here in the ATEC building is part of a movement that's going on in many different places in many different ways from Bangalore in India to uh, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil to uh, Rhode Island School of Art and Design. So it's a very interesting time, I think, where uh, the arts and the sciences are coming together in new kinds of ways uh, for a number of uh, different reasons, which you'll see as you walk around the building. One of the things that we noticed as we were doing this study was indeed, as Deborah mentioned, this phrase stemmed to steam. Uh, which originally came from uh, John Maida, who's the director of the Rhode Island School of Design. There's now actually a congressional STEAM caucus with 30 congressmen and congresswomen who are working together to look at how to integrate the arts into STEM strategies. Really exciting time. We have a meeting at the end of this month at the Smithsonian with the National Science Teachers Association, art educators, the NEA, the NSF, trying to figure out how to meld these different strategies uh, in, in the curriculum development of the future. Um, one of the pleasures of my career is I've been the editor of a series of publications at MIT Press, uh, the Leonardo publications, journals, a music journal, a book series. Um, and over the years, we've published the work of something like 10,000 hybrid professionals whose careers indeed straddle uh, the science and engineering to arts and design. It's a very exciting creative community working on very many different hard problems, medical training, ecological problems, all kinds of issues that are really important to us. One of the interesting things about the ATEC program is that thanks to Tom Linehan, who I, I will in, I introduce next, we have really a very rich variety of ways of welcoming students here who have different pathways through the system. We have bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, MFA in art and technology, and a PhD program that was approved two years ago. And so indeed, we now have, I think, Tom, 1,100 students enrolled in the program. And let me tell you, this building is just a magnet for many young people with very hybrid aspirations for their careers, for jobs which Tom likes to say don't quite exist yet, but we have a history of placing young people in the economy, economy of the future. So welcome to the ATEC building, and I'm now going to turn uh, the podium over to Tom Linehan, the founder of the ATEC program, uh, who will give you uh, his vision, and he is a visionary.